Hello my dear family members, I am very much happy to announce that today all the coding questions were asked from our prime materials and most of them were repeated. So if you are interested then knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.uf. By the way today I will discuss a coding question which was asked on 26th February Accenture exam. So let's see the question. So the question is regarding you are given two strings s and t your task is to determine if it's possible to rearrange the character of s to form the string t write a function that returns true if it's possible to create t by rearranging the character of s and false otherwise so here is the input format that is two strings s and t where the length of s and t are between one and thousand characters Output format is return true if it's possible to create T by rearranging the characters of S and false otherwise. Okay, so so the sample input are this. Okay, so S is equal to listen and T is equal to silent. So output is true. Why? Because all the characters which are present in S, that is L I S T E N, are also present in silent. So S I L E N T is equal to the character in s right so this is actually the program regarding anagram checker so both are anagram of each other so that's why we will print true if not then we would have printed false right so let's see another example and make it more clear okay so let's say the sample input uh, like a b c d e f is the first string and the second string is uh b c d a e f okay so what should be the output according to you so the actually accor according to the question this is uh, anagram and this is true the output will be true because a b c d e f are the characters which are present inside the second string as well right no other characters are present so this should be true so uh, let's say another example here if e is not present then those are not equal right i mean uh, the character which are present in this string are not matching at all with this uh, the second string that's why we will print false in this case right so i hope you understood your task what you have to do right if you understood then please start solving the problem and give the answer in the comment section right actually i have already solved this problem uh, which were asked uh, earlier in Accenture exam and I have solved that problem. So uh, Again, I will solve the problem even uh, it will be more clear for you. Okay so the current approach to the solution is if you are just uh, sorting those strings and let's check it if the strings are Matching or not then we will get our desired output, right? So let's say for the uh, for this string so let's say this is d e f okay so if you you sort those like a b c d e f already sorted and if you sort this then a b c d e f will be uh, the second string so if you match those then we get that the all characters are present inside second character which are present all inside the string one as well so that that's how will print true if matches and false if not matches okay so i have told you the approach to solve the problem now let's start to solve okay so now i'll solve the problem in java if you want a solution in python then let me know in the comment section i will try to assist you okay so let's uh, write the main function but before you proceed to the answer i would recommend you to have the accenture prime materials in which you will have all the recent coding questions as well as previous year questions and mock test as well so to get uh, that uh, then knock me at mr id instagram.com slash i'll provide you okay so let's create the main class so public class main sorry main and the public static void main string args okay so so what are the uh, what are the approach to solve the problem that is we'll now sort the strings then we'll compare right so 
at first we'll have to take the input so for taking input let's create the scanner class object scanner is c is equal to new scanner and system dot in you have to pass inside the scanner class as an argument and uh, as we are using scanner class let's import import java dot util dot star or the scanner class okay so now take the first uh, string let's say string s is equal to sc dot next line so this is the java syntax to take the sample input okay and string t is equal to sc dot next line okay so we we have taken both of the string like silent and listen okay sorry listen so as of now we have taken both the inputs i mean both the string input and now what we have to do we have to check if the string length is between 1 to 1000 or not right okay so i will not uh, check the check that condition as uh, you will uh, add that condition okay now i will just focus on the solution part okay main solution part that is i will now check i will now sort both the string and check if those are equal or not equal equal or not okay so to sort uh, sort those string what uh, will i do that is i'll convert that into a string uh, sorry character array and then i will uh, use the arrays dot sort method this is a built-in method to sort them and then we will compare okay so let's make two string add sorry two character array so care array one is equal to uh s dot two care array so this will uh create the array like uh, s sorry s uh, i l e n and t right so this is how it will create the array right so this would this will be the format in uh, it, this will be replaced here right okay so character array 2 is equal to t dot care sorry t dot 2 care array and the second one will also be like uh, uh, will also be converted into the character array like this one right so now what we'll do we'll run arrays dot sort method to sort all the elements uh, according to the alphabetical order right so sort uh, the first array and let's sort the second array as well array 2 okay so both are now sorted so how they are now looking like that uh let's say also so, so here e is the first element then i then uh the next element should be e i n then sorry e i l then n then t then s okay so uh at the first the first character array will be arranged like this and the second one will also be arranged like this okay so e i l n t s sorry s t s comma t okay so in this case as well s comma t okay so this is how they will look like okay so now what we will do we will compare both of them and see if this is equal or not right so how can we check that that is there is a inbuilt method inside arrays class that is equals arrays dot equals and we'll check if the array current array one and array two both are equals or not the equals method is 
uh, returning I mean getting two parameters that is array array one and array two and checking both the array if this those are equal or not and returning true value or false value according to the matching condition then uh, the if if block will check if this is true then print this and if not then print this okay so if this is true then system dot out dot print what should be print that is true and if not then will print false right so system dot out dot print sorry false okay so what are the uh, what i am not checking that is i am not checking if the element is having lesser than one uh, length or greater than thousand length or i am not checking if the element is having cap capital a or small a like uh, this okay so uh, please uh, add those condition in your program right okay so let's run it i hope this will be fine but uh, before running uh, let's import the address class okay so already i have uh, Im imported uh, by star i have imported the address class as well right so let's run it and see if this is giving right input uh, right, right output or not so sorry two character array what's the problem incompatible typo oh, sorry actually the initialization was wrong so i have to give a square bracket here right okay so let's run it i hope this will be fine in this case okay so at first silent and listen and this should be true okay now let's run for a negative test case so let's say a b c d e f and the second input is let's say a b c d only okay so this should be false okay and let's run for another sample input uh, and let's say this is a negative test case so silent and l sorry s l i e n okay and let's run it so as expected right so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used here right so if you understood then please and if you think that this video added value to your career and if you want more such content then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture and any company if, if you want and please share this channel with your friends so that they can also take part in this program right so thank you for today's session